BuggleBots begins filming, Extreme Robots get results, and the Grand Slam gears up all this week in Robot Combat. Hello and welcome to This Week in Robot Combat. Thank you so much for joining me once again. Um, I didn't record the starting bit last week, which is a bit weird. Um, clearly wasn't with it. I have this week though, and I promise I'll try and edit it all a bit better this week. Best of luck me, we're going to start this week with that Twitch thing that was announced last week. We now know that it's called Re-Mars, and it is an All-Stars BattleBots challenge that is done in conjunction with Amazon, that's Discovery and Amazon, working together to create a one-of-a-kind Battle of the Bots where 10 teams from the hit Discovery series will be battling out for the giant bolt. We can also see it live streamed on Twitch if you can't make the actual event, but make sure you tune in Thursday, 6th of June at 8.45 p.m. PDT, and I can't remember what that is. I'm rubbish with American time codes. Please do tell me in the comments below and then tell me what it is in Great British time, because, you know, I don't know. Then don't forget the following day on June the 7th, the BattleBots season four premiere on Discovery is happening, and then on June 12th, the series is premiering on the Science Channel. Make sure you go and check out BattleBots coming in just under two weeks. Exciting times ahead. But if you can't wait until then, you lucky Americans can bring home some more BattleBots merch that has been released onto the Hexbug website. We have the Vex Robotics Kit Build Warhead. We have the Vex Robotics Kit Build Endgame. And we also have that new Hexbug BattleBots modular kit thing that has the new Son of Waiachi style spinner. That has all been released onto the Hexbug website this week. So go and check out that if you live in America. You lucky people, I am very, very jealous. Back in the UK now, and BuggleBots has been filming this weekend for Series 2. So far, we've had photos of confirmed robots Hold My Beer, a mini Tough as Nails, built by Team Tough as Nails, the return of Snappy. We've also had a weird shark robot that's built by the creator of Jellyfish, because of course it is Shark Citrakian. I think that's how you pronounce it. Jester is carrying the World of Woodrow flag into the arena, which is fantastic. Thanks, Wayne. Also, Drizzle is back with a brand new disc. So Lancer Frog looks like an absolute beast this series, and who can forget the reigning champion K2, all competing this weekend, and that should be on YouTube later this year. Now we're going to travel briefly back to last Sunday, where Extreme Robots was finishing up in Portsmouth, and when I published the video I didn't know who'd won, but we now do. It was a very good weekend of fights, and Team Panoramic have put up a full video of every fight there was this weekend, including fights with Nasha, which did amazingly well compared to last year, and this new robot Nibbler that sort of looks like a UK version of Lockjaw, but it was Team Shock who took the win last weekend, beating Team Ripper in the final, and what a shock that was. Unfortunately, the next live event, which was due to be Robo Riots this weekend, has had to be postponed until the autumn. There is a full write-up of anything to do with money, transactions, or getting tickets for the next one, go and check out their Facebook page. I implore you, if you have already bought tickets and you are wondering about any questions to do with it, go and check out their Facebook page. Your questions will all be answered there. And uh, unfortunate, but it is still happening. Definitely still happening in the autumn. Now, a few weeks ago, I mentioned a new service that Team Panoramic were opening called Panoramic Creations, where you can commission an Antweight robot to be made. Well, that service is now open, so go and check out the Team Panoramic Facebook page for a link to the website where you'll find pricing for the different types of robot they are offering, no spinners mind, and also the commissions form that you need to fill in if you want your Antweight made. It's a service that I hope to be using within the next week, so I'm looking forward to that, and so should you be. Exciting times. Now over to YouTube, Jim Dramatic has a new podcast out talking with Anderson about their top 10 best weapons from Series 3. It's an interesting podcast, especially for somebody who has just rewatched Series 3, like myself, so go and check that out. Speaking of Anderson, there was a new episode of the Robot Wars Guru talking about the War of Independence and how it could have been done better. Also, SSRW, the series from Razor 1905, is coming in the next couple of weeks, so look out for that over on his channel 
And lastly, there's a new YouTuber about who is making card robots. If you enjoy that sort of lifestyle, then you can go and check out his channel. His name is The Bot Builder, and he is building lots of robots, including Duck and Monsoon to start with, but more to come within the next week or so. So go and check out his channel. Lastly, news from the world of Woodrow itself. I uploaded a video last night showing off the full theme for the Grand Slam. A chance for you to hear it in full. Go and check it out. It's on my channel. Go and have a look. Go and have a listen. I spent some time making it, so that'd be really nice of you. If you did go and have a look, you don't have to, though. It's your free time. Also, over on the World of Woodrow Facebook page, there are new beauty shot photos for every competitor competing in Grand Slam Series 2, including those are on the screen now these are my favorite five the five that came out the best when i did the photos this is sort of following the new style of the battle bots beauty shots um that was the inspiration behind it so i wanted to have a go and i think i've done pretty well i'm very happy with them if you wish to go and have a look at them again feel free to uh, over on the facebook page and that just about does it for this week holy news batman there was so much there well there we are. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a like, do subscribe to my channel if you are new. Make sure you go and have a look at my Facebook page, the link of which was on the last slide you just saw. Um, and also go and have a look at the website for any more Grand Slam news you wish to know. Um, or just have a look through the robots that are competing this series. Thanks for watching and I shall see you next time. Goodbye.